Hello, welcome to Homestead. So apparently, remember how I, I said with the pool, water always tells the truth? Well, that's true with uh, whether or not ground is even. Wind, on the other hand, always tells the truth on whether or not a structure is sound. The hoop house was not sound. Now I knew I probably should have been gluing the pieces together and in my <coughs> haste, I just decided to put it together and just see if it would work. Now my contention is it would work if we had put the plastic up, which would have helped hold together and it wouldn't have caused um, a sail like effect because um, the wind wouldn't have been able to get inside of it because both ends would have been closed off, yada, yada, yada. And in this case, we actually put the shade cloth up on top of it, which also helped create the sail effect. So um, here I am um, having to redo work. It happens. Um, good reminder <coughs> it's a good reminder that if your gut's telling you to do something a certain way you should probably do it that way um, especially if it's the right way to do it um, so I'm just gonna set uh, the camera up and get this started on this redo not gonna be too exciting just gonna be um, putting the pieces back together uh, but using cement to hold it together this time all right you can hear Zipporah in the background mowing the lawn yeah good stuff so all right i'm gonna get going <laughs> Got the hoops back up all glued in place all the way down the line back to where we were pretty much not going to put the shade cloth back on at least not right now um, i'm going to get the end walls um, at least on one side put up first so that will be the next phase of this uh, project which i have to wait till tomorrow to continue and you are going to go to right now hey welcome uh so i told you i'd video this part and the, the way the afternoon just went and when i got home from work and everything i forgot to grab the camera and by the time i got it i was already halfway through and i just wanted to finish um it is 102 and i just yeah sorry you missed it but i'll walk you through what i got done so Got this end wall or end framed up. It's um, <laughs> not square. Um, then again, neither is the rest of it, but um, I've still got to put some bracing here in the middle. What I did was um, got pressure treated on the bottom. I went ahead and notched out the studs. I was going to do it like a traditional wall and made the board flat uh, on its face on the ground and you know just go perpendicular like a normal wall stud but i decided to go uh this route with it just because in my mind it made it easier for me what i was doing it's okay it doesn't really change the overall design um a couple measurements are a little off so um, i'm changing how that's happening the initial plan was to have the outer post ride on the outside all the way up and that center post was actually supposed to meet up with the top because the geometry that I did said that that was supposed to be eight feet. Um, and I think it would be if, if things were perfectly bent and perfectly round and, and when I glued it up, it was uh, perfectly <coughs> tense, which it's not, so it's okay. Get a little bit more height. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some uh, three quarter inch um, straps for uh, the conduits. Um, they're the half straps. Um, and put those on the edges so it'll still be like it follows the outside but it'll be on the inside which is okay because that helps push it plumb um it was wanting to lean this way now it's uh, more 
plump <laughs> with the wall and we'll go from there something else we're running into sean and i try to uh start stringing up some of the um trellising for the tomatoes and realized as i planned out uh the frame of the hoop house i didn't really take into account how she had planted the tomatoes or how we were going to put the strings so um we're going i've got some ideas for some ad adapting that but just before you get involved in our project um that's something to consider as you're planning your hoop house if you're especially if you're using it for tomatoes just have an idea of, of how you're going to utilize the inside space that might allow you to frame it in such a way that accommodates that um like i said i've got ideas for how to make this work um but it's going to be extra steps that i wasn't anticipating doing so that's fine it always is fine um just something to think about if you're not already there so i'm sweaty toasty done um with this tonight I'm cleaning up and getting in to have dinner and enjoy the rest of my evening. So I will do that. You will fast forward to the next part of the video right now. <laughs> I thought I was recording this whole time. I'll Watch what I'm doing and I'll bring you guys up to speed at the end. step over on this side here what you didn't see me get done I'm sorry I forgot to I really thought I'd hit record um, what you didn't see me get done was I got the other end frame up uh, that's gonna be our door end. Um, I am gonna put two more uh, cross braces on this end you'll see me do that in a second but then what you just saw me doing was I was putting up some um, just call it strapping um, kind of not quite halfway up each hoop but a little bit higher and that's going to be to drop our um our string for the tomatoes to climb up from um we're gonna use paracord um shauna likes to use it versus twine um just because i think it holds up better weather's better um but we were realizing that i'm not sure if it would stay in place if we just tied it to the uh, pvc it might slide down eventually um and we also weren't necessarily going to get the right spacing with just where the pvc was so this way we should have some some um play um, i'm going to also measure between each one because if we need to we can throw up a, a cross member going ac um across a cross member going across figure that um <coughs> 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 That will help um, give you more options and also provide overall stability. Um, and that's that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna throw up a couple more cross members. Probably gonna be done for the most part today. I may, may get Sean out here and we may run the stream. We're waiting for her clips to come, which will be tomorrow. So we may just wait to do the paracord um, then, um, or we may do the paracord now so that I can do something else while she's uh, snapping up the, um, tomato plants either way works we're getting kind of late in the evening um plenty of daylight but late in the evening and uh we don't want to push it too hard it's still pretty warm here so that's that i'm gonna get back at it and we'll see how far we get all right <music>
Good stuff. So we got some of the paracord up. You saw Shauna and I working on that. We ran out of paracord. I need to get some more, um, which is fine because I got to go to the home center to get uh, a new trimmer attachment. My um, trimmer attachment decided just to, didn't really break. It seized up um, to the point where I can't get it apart. And it is like 12 years old at this point and I'm just gonna get a new one. Um, it's it served me well, but it's also a curved trimmer attachment. I wanna get the straight one and so I have uh, ulterior motives there. But um, this, is, this is pretty much it for now. Um, we are gonna get the plastic pretty soon. Uh, I did realize that doing the, the cross members there, I'm gonna have to, to go back and, and cut them, cut the edges that overhang uh, so that the plastic doesn't get caught on them. But we're, we're a ways from that. Um, like I said, the plastic, it's gonna be soon, probably the end, by, before the end of the summer, but um, it's not our main focus. Main focus right now is getting the rest of the paracord up and getting the clips so the tomatoes can get up off the ground grow flourish do well we can uh, weed in there properly um and then i can work on drainage around it because um if, if you don't notice where we're at here okay we got the pool over there and if everyone remembers right all the water flows from that way down to this spot here and we've lost actually a lot of the a lot of the compost that we put up here originally has already um washed away so we're going. We're thinking about what we're going to do to, to replenish that um, in the future, um, and we're still figuring this this project out. This is more of a we're we're figuring it out as we go. I'm I'm learning um, and incorporating, and we're seeing what reality presents us. Now, could I avoid a lot of that by really planning it out and sitting down and really thinking through and being meticulous? Sure. Some people are gifted like that. They have more of an engineer's mindset. That's never really been my forte. Um, I, I, I kind of have to do a thing and see how it reacts and then I can modify and play. Um, and that's what this project is. Um, and there are people that would contend that my way is just wrong. <laughs> um, and it is not the way to do anything. Um, as I've said many times before on this channel, um, you have to figure out what works for you, okay? Um, and the, the biggest thing is, are you learning? Are you always learning and incorporating so that you're not making the same mistake twice? Making mistakes is fine. Not making the same mistake twice, and certainly not a third time, if you can help it. Um, that's the important thing. So. My way might be wrong by all stretch of the imagination, but it's working. It's working for us. And that's the important thing. So with that, um, I'm going to go and do the rest of my, what I need to do to get my evening wound down. And you're going to jump to the next part of the video, which happens now. Hey, okay. So this is the next part of the video, which I didn't really realize we didn't film anymore after that last clip. Um, but what we did do, I'll, I'll show you guys. So here is the hoop house. We got all of the, all of the string up. We actually ended up putting up a lot more, uh, paracord because each plant needs like at least two or so, but you can see here, the tomatoes look so much healthier, so much better because they want to grow up. They want to vine up. And so we're getting much better yields, a little skimpy on this end, but that's okay. It's up. The, the uh, trellises, the trellising is working great and we are good to go. Now this wire mesh, I think I said it in the other video, uh, is mainly to keep the chickens and the pigs out since we're letting them into this larger area now. Uh, we don't want them eating the tomatoes, especially the chickens with the tomatoes because those are bad um, for them. So what I'm gonna end up doing is, uh, since this is a little far away, <coughs> So what I'm gonna end up doing here is um, I'm gonna put some irrigation line, a half inch irrigation line along the top and put in full circle um, sprayers, which should have a good radius couple every couple feet. So that all Shawnee needs to do to water these is turn the hose on. 
um, it'll be hooked up and ready to go and water our wonderful tomatoes or whatever else we have in our hoop house. So now this is done for now. Um, the next part of that will be obviously getting the irrigation up. I may do a, a mini video on that and then uh, putting the plastic over it more towards the end of summer so we can extend our growing season. So with that, hoop house complete, hoop house part two complete, and that's that. God be with you all in all that you do, and remember, keep the faith and keep up the fight. God bless.